Hello everyone, welcome to Ignition. Hello and today we're going to show you how to replace your transfer mount. Well, as you can see, holding in my hand, here we have the transfer box. This is the uh, mount that goes on the side up here, as you can see. Now, I think we have mentioned that it's, well, we spotted that it's broken, didn't we? Um, it's completely perished. Um, and there is a little bit of wobble on the gearbox when you give it a little push, if you're strong enough, which I'm not sure I am. But uh, we're going to try and replace this today. Well, we will replace this today. And uh, all I like your confidence. Thanks. And it just entails basically removing the three bolts holding this bracket on and also the, the mount the actual bolt that goes through the mount. Um, obviously the main thing is to hold the gearbox and transfer case so it doesn't have any extra load on the other mounts. Um, and it should, as he says, fingers crossed, should be quite a simple job. So I think we'll crack on, shall we? Let's do it. Oh, my rod's extending well, sir. <laughs> I think I'm gonna grip that with a bit of wood, actually. So just removing this bottom bracket and this bolt here uh, should be enough for us to get it out. I'm off. Final one. Right, so final bolt holding uh, Senor bracket on is coming off now. I could have made, made mine look a lot more complicated than it was. And as you can see, look, the bushing is just, there's nothing to it. It's completely perished. Up, down, round, sideways. That's it. Now, give that up a show to the camera. Look at that. Um, so definitely a good spot, I think. Definitely 100% okay. worth changing. So all we need to do is take that out. So we're gonna take the bottom bolt off, which just attaches, holds this to the bracket. They're right there. So, there we have it. That doesn't look so nice. No, and during the process, the middle fell out. There we are. Okay, so here we are. Beautifully powder coated bracket. Now we've just done this because you know, it's off. Why not do it, eh, Dad? Why not do it? Because we can. Because we can. So we like to waste our time and we make do. things that you'll never see look sexy. So but it was rusty. It was very rusty. So the sandblasting and powder coating's done it an absolute treat. Looks brand spanking new. Um, if you're interested to know how we did it, yep. and obviously we have a review of, or a, we Video. won't call it instructions. No. Because we're not experts, but, but um, we showed you how we do it. Yeah, sort of a DIY how we do it. Yeah, um, it is DIY. Yeah, we do it ourselves. So yeah. this is the new bushing that we're going to be applying to this bracket, and then we're going to whack it back on the car and it should look beautiful. So we're going to be using some high strength thread locker on this because obviously we don't want it to come off. Now we're going to be putting it back in. This piece of metal stops it from spinning on itself. So there we are, look, and it sits on there and doesn't spin. So we've got the old washer to go back on and the nut which he's just dropped on the flower and we're going to waz that back up fairly tight there we are that's, that's as manly as I yep, can get that's as manly as we want so bracket and bushing let's I mean, be honest that looks nice that does look blooming good if I say so myself if I say so myself yeah. that looks great so I'm very very happy let's get it back on the old motor Okay, so we're back underneath the car and it's going to be a reverse order of how we took it out. We're going to be putting in the bolts loosely, all three of them, getting this into position here inside the space and then we can tighten them up with some thread locker. In like so. Could take a bit of wiggling this. Okay, so we've been fighting for the last couple of minutes, just trying to why, sort of figure out how to get the new uh, bushing in because the bracket was slightly compressed, obviously as it's been tightened over the years, uh, the new one didn't want to go in so easily. So what I did was, this is a brake pad pusher um, and it did fit perfectly at an angle there. And I just gave it the slightest bit of stretch gradually. Obviously don't want to go crazy because it could break, um, but just ever so slightly to widen it and then with a little bit of brute force pushed it and it went straight in so we're uh, obviously as we bolt it up that'll pull it back yeah to when we bolt it it will go straight back to its original position and it barely moved one mil at the most so now it's time to waz the bolts in this is going to make me want another coffee yeah me too so now the final thing, 16mm on the back and a 14 on the front, 
and we're just going to do that up until we feel it's you know a good tension don't want to go nuts because we do have th thread locker on there so that's why a wimp is doing it yeah there we are nice awesome. okay so now that we're all back together the final thing is to release our support of the jack i'll do the honors okay. down we go tension's going on to it and our highly professional bit of wood yeah just to keep it nice and safe and oh well i think I th in my own world i think we've done a good job right so that completes it doesn't it well there I'm, it is I'm, I'm in smug mode that's his smug mode. So yeah. when we took it off, we hummed and hard on the powder coating, but it's I'm, be done, it, it, it just has it's to be done. be done. So it's taken us an afternoon, this, just to wait for it to cook and cool down. Um, no, no bugger will ever see it, but no, it's just, you know, I'm happy with For it. our own personal posterity. In fairness, um, it was rusty. It was, and I think it was in well need of a good overhaul. Yeah. And it's just a little subtle touch, which we really like, don't we? And yeah, there, there we are. It's amazing how, and now we've said this before, when we got this truck, how well does it drive? Well, it drove, yeah, we were surprised. It corners better than some of our smaller cars. Yeah, it was just weird. You know, with leaf suspension, we thought it'd be an absolute dog. I mean, obviously, we're not, um, so we're not, we're not racing races, drivers. No. But it just, for what it is, it handled really well. But so far, the dampers, if you've not watched the series, the dampers were absolutely naked. Yeah. The transfer case bearing. Well, we're, we're shocked that that, that mount, um, well, well, what mount is yeah, the, uh, the completely question. completely naked. Yep. So it's going to be a very interesting thing to see what this drives yeah. like. So hopefully if you've watched, haven't watched any of the others, go back and you'll see us do leaf springs, dampers. Yep, they're out, every um, video is out weekly. So we've done... At the moment, yeah. Yeah, all of them. Uh, front suspension, rear suspension, and now we're on this. So, so uh, hopefully you'll watch that one. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Yeah, give us um, a like. Hopefully this has helped you. Yes, we'll see you in the next one. I'm